The show begins with the Woods family bidding farewell to Ryan Woods, a well-known astronaut. She's about to depart for space in a much-anticipated mission. Ryan places her hands on her daughter Haley's shoulders, asking her to take care of her brother Alex. Haley then assures her, jokingly, that the two of them will remember to brush their teeth before going to bed. Before her chauffeur announces that it's time to head off, Ryan tells her kids to remember that they'd always be in her heart. In response, Haley brings out her phone and takes a family selfie. Later, the Woods family and their friends are getting ready to celebrate Ryan's shuttle launch. The group then counts down, excited about the takeoff. However, just as the shuttle enters the sky, it mysteriously explodes. Haley and Alex cannot believe what they're seeing, and they cry in horror. Eight months later, Haley is hanging out with her friends, Meredith and Owen, in her room, with music playing loudly. Outside, Alex is busy practicing basketball, much to Haley's irritation. It's revealed that Alex is practicing to get into the prestigious leadership institution named the Greenhouse Academy, which is also their mom's alma mater. In the morning, Haley drives Alex to the Greenhouse Academy for his big test. While in the car, Alex reads the Greenhouse Academy brochure, looking at an article about Louis Osmond, the headmaster at the Greenhouse. As he ruffles through the pages, he learns that there are two clubs in the Academy, Eagles and Ravens, who are arch enemies. The siblings then finally arrive at the Academy, and Alex makes his way to the exam room. In the main lobby of the greenhouse, Daniel, the captain of the Eagles Club, and his friend are briefing another newbie named Tyler on his greenhouse audition. They explain that he has to first pass his exam. After a while, the exam is about to begin, and the teacher briefs on the SAT procedure. She tells the applicants to mark their answers with the stylus located next to the tablet and that they will have the results as soon as they have finished. After this, they have to sit for the physical exam. Just then, Police Sergeant Archer arrives in the class, with a vigilante named Jackie sitting down and being handcuffed to the desk. It turns out she had just tried to rob a bank, but the headmaster has given her a chance to sit for the test. Leo, the captain of the Ravens, also enters the room and plays the guitar at a loud volume for applicants. This is done to make the test even more challenging. Once the whole thing is over, fortunately, both Alex and Jackie manage to pass the first round. Meanwhile, on the Eagles basketball court, another student named Max is taking his physical exam. Max, who isn't very sporty, struggles to jog around the court. Coach Davies then tells him that he's done enough push-ups and marks him based on his performance. Following this, he looks at his clipboard and calls Alex for his physical exam. Alex then arrives on the court and showcases his basketball skills without missing any shots. Seeing this, the headmaster, Lewis, and his son, Jason, congratulate him on his extraordinary performance. On the other hand, Daniel finds out that Alex will be taking Tyler's spot on the Eagles basketball team, as the latter failed the first test. He then asks if he can play some one-on-one -on -one with Alex, to which Lewis agrees. During their match, Daniel badmouths Alex's mom, causing the latter to lose his temper. When they almost get into a tussle, Haley intervenes. She defends her brother, trying to convince Lewis that Daniel started the fight. She also expresses that her brother has worked for months in order to get into the greenhouse. Following this, Haley goes on to point out the school's slogan, wondering if it was really to produce bullies like Daniel. Outside in the greenhouse grounds, Alex is storming off, but his sister manages to catch up to him. Haley tries to calm him down, assuring Alex that he didn't do anything. She adds that he was too good for the greenhouse. Just then, Lewis catches up with the siblings. He explains that he appreciated Haley's honesty earlier. He also notes that they have qualities that the school wants in their students. Realizing what Lewis is getting at, Alex asks whether he has gotten in. Lewis then reveals that, in fact, both of them have gained entry into the school, with Alex as a part of the Eagles and Haley being a member of the Ravens. But first, Haley has to take the written test as a formality, especially for her being the daughter of Ryan Woods. Later, as expected, our girl manages to pass the test and attend the opening ceremony alongside her brother. Back at the Woods household, Alex and Haley's father, Carter, is asleep. Just then, a thief breaks in. He creeps up to the family's laptop and plugs in his USB, extracting files from the laptop before deleting them. 
In the next scene, the first challenge between the two teams, Ravens and Eagles, for the first year begins. Ravens have Haley, Leo, Jackie, and Max in the team, while Eagles have Daniel, his girlfriend Brooke, Parker, and Alex. In the classroom, Lewis announces that he will be sending the teams a riddle. The students will have to solve it to find the key that will unlock a gong. After reading it thoroughly, Brooke realizes that the riddle has something to do with a nearby beach. So the Eagles head off. The Ravens also crack the riddle and follow them. The students dig the beach for a while until Haley realizes the answer must be in the main building itself. Back at the Woods household, police officer Eric has come to investigate the burglary. Sadly, his team do not find any evidence. Meanwhile, Leo and Haley manage to find the winning key in a small sandbox inside the campus building. Just then, Alex arrives at the scene. Out of love for her brother, Haley hands over the key to him, but he gives it back to her. Unbeknownst to them, they are being recorded by another Eagles teammate named Sophie. Eventually, the Ravens are awarded a table of delicious food after winning the opening challenge of the year. On the other hand, Sophie reveals to Daniel and the rest of the team that Alex is the reason they lost the challenge. She then shows them the footage of Alex tossing the winning key back to his sister. This only makes the Eagles hate Alex even more. Meanwhile, in a distant car park, Kyle, the thief from the Woods household, is reporting to Judy, who turns out to be Daniel's mother. It's revealed that Judy and Ryan had a past together. Kyle ensures her that he deleted all the files she had ordered. Later, Judy arrives at Jason's office and angrily asks him how he could accept Alex and Haley into the school. However, Jason expresses that it was his father who had accepted the siblings. Judy then warns him how dangerous it is to have the siblings at the greenhouse, especially after their mother's unfortunate incident. The following day, Daniel seems to be in pain as he limps to his lockers. He then drinks a sip of ibuprofen just as Brooke appears from behind him. She asks whether everything is okay, believing that he's looking quite stressed. Daniel then makes the excuse that he's feeling stressed about the upcoming basketball game. At the FBI headquarters, the police chief, David Diggs, walks up to Eric in his office, handing him a paper document. He reveals that they have new information on a missing park ranger. He explains that the GPS tracking chip found on the ranger's taser had been emitting a very weak signal coming from the greenhouse. So he wants Eric to investigate the signal. Later, the FBI agents arrive at the greenhouse and start inquiring about the missing taser. In the meantime, the Eagles plan to break into the Ravens clubhouse to wipe the smiles off their faces after they won the opening challenge. Alex agrees to steal his sister's Louie, a virtual tablet, in order to break in, hoping that he will be finally accepted as one of the Eagles. Later that evening, Haley is in the cafeteria getting a chocolate milkshake. At the same time, Alex surprises her from behind and greets her. As they engage in conversation, he manages to steal her Louie and later hands it over to his team. The Eagles then prepare to raid the Ravens dormitory as they pack spray paint and more tools in their bags. Outside the greenhouse grounds, the FBI agents are still investigating the missing taser case. They discover a hole in the wired fence, deducing that someone had cut it open. With the evidence, the FBI agents decide to look through the students' files to find the culprit, who could possibly be carrying the taser. In the morning, the Ravens wake up to find their dorm vandalized by the Eagles. Enraged, they promise to make the Eagles pay for it. Meanwhile, the FBI starts interrogating the suspects. Their main suspect is Jackie, since she has a criminal background. When asked about what the crimes have to do with the current events, the agents reveal that they are currently investigating the case of a missing park ranger's taser gun. The FBI further mentions that they have found her sketchbook, which consists of sketches of military weapons. Moreover, the wired fence with the hole has Jackie's fingerprints. However, Jackie reveals that she sneaked out to go surfing that morning. Despite her protest, the FBI wants her to take a polygraph test. For some reason, she refuses to take the test, so the FBI has no choice but to arrest her. Thankfully, the rest of the Ravens arrive just in time to save their friend. Haley notes that it would be discriminating and careless for the FBI to not question other students. As a result, all the Ravens agree to take the polygraph test, which eventually proves that none of them are guilty of the crime, including Jackie. 
At the beach, Daniel is out on his daily jog, before stopping to do a few stretches. While doing so, he takes out the park ranger's taser from his back pocket and tosses it into the ocean. However, unbeknownst to him, Brooke watches him from the nearby balcony. In the morning, a fisherman who's walking along the beach finds the taser lying in the sand. A while later, the FBI agents return to the greenhouse with the taser gun. In the next scene, the Eagles get ready for their big basketball game against another school. Judy arrives just in time to support her son. The game starts, and the two teams appear to be equally matched. But just as the game is about to end, an exhausted Daniel secures the winning net for his team. Seconds later, he suddenly collapses on the ground, leaving everyone in shock. At the hospital, Lewis, Judy, and Brooke learn that the doctors took out a taser wire from Daniel's leg that had caused an infection on his body. Although the boy is in good hands now, they will have to inform the police. Lewis notes that if the wire matches the taser, the FBI will arrest Daniel. In the FBI headquarters, Chief David tells his subordinates to notify him as soon as the analysis report of the barbed wire is received. Meanwhile, Judy tries to bribe the doctors to discard the barbed wire evidence. However, the doctors inform her that the evidence is already on its way to the lab for analysis. Sometime later, when Daniel awakens from his unconscious state, he explains his side of the story. He says that two weeks ago, he was out on his morning jog, and that was when he had found the taser. Suddenly, the taser hit his leg, and in order to not attract attention from some onlookers, he slipped the weapon into his pocket. Daniel goes on to say that he became scared when the FBI showed up at the greenhouse. That's why he decided to throw the taser in the ocean. Soon after, there is a twist in events. The FBI learns that the van that was transporting the evidence to the lab suddenly exploded on its way, destroying everything. In the final scene, we get to know that the mastermind behind it all is none other than Judy, who thanks Eric for helping her. Later, Lewis announces the news to Daniel, letting him know that he got lucky since the evidence has been destroyed in an accident.